Now to the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, out with a new novel. It's called Her Heart for a Compass, and Maggie Rooley has more. I wish I had some apples for you. Oh, he likes you. Look at that. When I meet up with the Duchess of York, she tells me to call her Sarah. You were a bit of a show off. Yeah. <laughs> you got the camera. We saddle up. Lady Margaret would be riding side saddle. All right. Oh, hey there. <laughs> we look good. You look good. Then trot through the English countryside. But I say that the negativity of the past should drift away. And, and we're here today and we celebrate uh, being here today. She's showing the world it's never too late to start something new, releasing her first novel, Her Heart for a Compass, based on the unconventional and determined Lady Margaret, her distant relative, set in the Victorian era. Lady Margaret is an extremely wonderful, strong, very resilient redhead who, against extraordinary confines of what is seen as normal and duty, and I couldn't uh, explain it if I hadn't had a hint of um, fighting my uh, own journey through my own compass of my own heart. And I'm wondering how that translates to you today, finding your own voice, making your needs heard, uh, not always being the one that pleases others. Yeah, 100% stopping being a people pleaser mm. and speaking up and mm. realizing that you are entitled to a voice. I don't believe I've really spoken out until now properly. And now she is not holding back, speaking out about how she was vilified in the press and pitted against her famous and much-loved sister-in-law, Princess Diana. It was an extraordinary thing to realize that we were selling papers rather than it being real. In the days of Diana and I, it was really tough. Do you feel as if the media treats women unfairly? You don't really have an opinion. And uh, I think it's quite fun to keep coming back with an opinion. <laughs> Is that the rebel in me? I, I think, think that might be the rebel be. in you. But even in more recent times, you know, there's been the Epstein scandal that made headlines. There's been affairs and things. I mean, that's a lot to have to deal with as a human. How do you find this resilience? How do you keep dealing day to day? Hmm. Well, for anybody watching, apologize profusely to yourself, to others. I have destroyed myself hmm. many times, but the most important thing is to get up and get going. I'm curious your thoughts on the way the press has treated Megan in particular. There should be no judgment on race, creed, color, or any other denomination. I wish Harry and Megan so much happiness, and I know that Diana would be so proud of her sons and their wives. I love Diana and I will always love her, as though she's here in, in person. Reminiscing, she says one of her fondest memories is when she married Prince Andrew 35 years ago. The couple split 10 years later, but today she says they're the happiest divorced couple in the world. It's very difficult to put me in a box because like, nobody really can understand. They say I'm kooky. Hmm. I'm not kooky. <laughs> I'm just myself. And they say that I'm eccentric. I, I am myself, but that's okay. I, yeah. I like to do what I do. And guys, her new book is out on Tuesday, but she tells us she's only just getting started and another one is already in the works. Guys. Maggie, thank you so much. And next Tuesday right here, the Duchess of York will join us live. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.